Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Senator. <laughs> Sorry. Something stuck in your throat, is there? <laughs> well, uh, I thought I'd do something different tonight, and I'd actually make campaign promises. This is something I don't normally do. Uh, I've watched everybody make campaign promises, and to my, to my surprise, there hasn't been as many as there was early on. So beware, you last four at the table. Some of the things I can promise to do. One thing is, is I can promise to represent people to get their foot in the door with state government. I can promise that. I've done it. And I'll continue to do it. Especially during the off session where we're not up there. Somebody has a problem with state government, it usually takes a state representative or a state senator to get somebody to get off their duff up in pier and answer the phone. I'll guarantee you that's how it works. Number two, I'll represent people while in session and I'll safeguard them or do my very best to safeguard them against bad spending policies of this administration. I'll do it to legislators that are up there. Bad spending policies by legislators. I've served on the Appropriations Committee the last four years and I've seen enough of them to know that there are a lot of bad spenders out there. And in reference to using the reserves to balance our budget, that happens pretty frequently. I think Senator Napoli can think back as to how many times we had to use the reserves to balance the state's budget. And it's because there's a lot of programs that we need to take care of, and there's some additional programs that get stuck in there, things like laptops, things like pre-K programs. We shouldn't be spending money on new programs right now. What we should be spending our money on are programs that are in desperate need of money. Things like the adjustment training centers, which just about every candidate up here has visited. And you ought to be ashamed of yourself if you don't get on board this year and help those people that can't help themselves. That's what we're there for. Not, not any of the other garbage. I'm going to tell you a quick story since the light hasn't lit up. A young man called me that I knew from the military prior to my retirement. Didn't live in my district. Said, Jeff, come on out, let's have a cup of coffee. Hard working individual. I said, well, Charlie, how can I get out there? Oh, let's just get out and meet at the, uh, uh, it's the 4U store out on the double highway out there, Box Elder. And he said, yeah, come on out there. So I went out and I had coffee with me. He said, man, he says, I had a rainstorm sit above my house. He said, you did? He said, 100 million gallons of water in my driveway. I said, Charlie, you don't have 100 million gallons of water in your driveway. Yeah, he says, I do. Went out to his place. He got on a backhoe and dug about a half mile trench to get his road that had 100, 100 million gallons of water on it. Can I briefly finish? <laughs> <laughs> and couldn't get anybody to help him, including the Meade County Commissioners. What did it take? It took a phone call from a state representative to get somebody to give him a pump. That's what being a representative is, whether it's a senator or a representative. So I appreciate y'all coming out, and I would sure uh, like your vote. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. I promised to lower my property taxes. The county immediately raised the value of my house so that my property taxes actually went up. What are you going to do to lower my property taxes? <laughs> what am I going to do to lower your property taxes? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> you had your chance, and and hopefully there will be somebody as uh, exciting as uh, Senator Napoli was when he led the charge on Amendment D. There's states all over the union now looking at very similar packages to what South Dakota turned down. It would have stopped the appraisal. That's what happened. Bill Jankel might have been. He might have lowered your property taxes. That was all fine and well, and it probably did come down. But what does the county turn around and do? They reappraise it. It's appraised at a higher rate. They're still going to get their money. you got to get behind something and stay behind it. And, and unfortunately, it's not a legislative act that's going to change that. You have to convince the better part of 69 House members and the better part of 34 senators and the better part of the governor's administration, which you, I will guarantee you you will never do, not as long as this guy's governor. So... Unfortunately, there's nothing one legislator can do. You have to get behind a movement and stay with it and, and do it. And then uh, be ready for the follow-up. We're going to be facing even more uh, property tax issues now that there's a productivity uh, 
portion of uh, the classification of property taxes, and you city people, including me, and you businesses are going to get taxed at an even higher rate now to make up for the difference of us uh, then representative or now representative road. So get ready. Rule this year. That's right. There you go. And he's my expert, by the way, on property taxes. I followed him uh, around. That's the answer. About highway funding. You want to tackle that? Sure. Sounds. How, how would you? Fix oh, highway funding. Yes. Just change it to some degree that obviously raise funds. But you know what? Go ahead. I don't know. I don't know if it's a fair answer, but we had a. First of all, let me let me apologize. I I have a. I'm a disabled vet, if you will. I have a, 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 a back issue, and that's why I don't feel like standing up against the wall here. So I've been drifting around trying to keep my back from going into spasm. So that's why I've been walking around. I just wanted to explain that to you first. Uh, second of all, on the highway issue, we we in the legislature many times count on. Uh, subcommittees and groups to get together and they had they formed one over the summer I don't know if anybody was on that that committee uh, only that's currently up Gordon here. Peterson. The only one for West <coughs> on that transportation committee was Gordon Peterson. And Gordon Peterson and of course Gordon's not coming back but yeah. uh, and he's probably not going to show up in any of these so I wanted to wait for that information. <coughs> so Pat, that's why I was going to give you the mic back and say I don't the, you know, we'll continue to look at it and try and find ways. The federal government did, in fact, come finally get the $8 billion back uh, in their uh, transportation fund so they could keep the money coming to the states. Mm -hmm. It comes down to a matter of uh, what we're going to give up. Fortunately, in talking to the Truckers Association, South Dakota highways are in very good shape currently. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of work. Uh, and many legislators, including legislators, I don't know if ones that's sitting up here, criticized our DOT at the state level for doing work when the dollar was still good and buying the construction materials. But we did take care of a lot of issues, and so our highways are going to be good for a while. But we can't let that uh, deter us from continuing some type of a program to fix them. So I'm, I may be one to say that uh, currently I think we're good, but I think we're going to need to find an answer for that issue. And I don't know what that's going to be yet because I'm not up in session right now. But uh, I will help with that issue, though. I got it. You know, for him, I haven't seen the guy in 10 years, that, but that's a sideline. I've got people that are my enemies. <laughs> that is what it's about. You know, on my tombstone, I hope it says representative of people. Not a party, not of administration. If I'm not there to help people, uh, then I don't have any business being there. Whether they're my friends or my enemies, I don't care what party you are when you call me and have an issue. I don't, I don't naturally go, what party are you? I'm sorry, and hang up the phone. I, I, so I, I, I would have to disagree uh, firmly with uh, uh, Bonnie's assumption that I'm just there to help my friends. And I think I have plenty of people that can testify to that, uh, that have served with me. So, thank you for uh, tonight, thank you for the opportunity to talk to you, and listen to some of your issues, and uh, hey, see you at the polls, I hope, and vote for me. Yeah, thank you. Teresa?